150 years of this championship. There is no course like St Andrews. There is no challenge like the Open. No player like Tiger Woods. No claret jug to cap a fairy tale return to the old course for Tiger. But where legends roam, legends can also be made. On this quest for golfing immortality, it was Cameron Young, making his Open debut, who would set the early pace. This is some man of golf. The American, two strokes clear after round one. And on his Open debut, it is a dream start for Cameron Young. Day two saw rivals rally. A European pair of Rory McIlroy and Victor Hovland closing that gap. Huge roar for McIlroy. Incredible shot from Victor Hovland. But it was Cameron's namesake who would not only cut that lead, but surpass it. Well, after Cam Smith's shot of the day, this is right to left the whole way. Oh, oh. What a pat! And Cameron Smith leads the open. Into the weekend, and another shuffle of that four-strong pack. Yeah, that just was not the play. As the Camerons stuttered. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. McElroy and Hovland took full advantage. Straight at the pin. He's got a chance. Oh, it's in. Oh, no. I don't believe it. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Just listen to that crowd. There they go, Rory, Rory. I'm not sure I've ever known an atmosphere like this outside of a Ryder Cup. It really is quite special. It does guarantee them their place in the final two ball on Sunday at the 150th Open. 18 holes, a four-stroke advantage for the leading pair destiny beckoned. And everything has led to this. The final group on the final day. But even as they set out, familiar challenges were already emerging. The way I played throughout the week, the way I grinded out, I still felt hopeful that I could at least have a good crack at it on Sunday. First bird the other day, Cam Smith. Despite a dropped shot on the opening hole, his playing partner, Cameron Young, also found his rhythm. Just like that. Consecutive birdies for Young on holes three, four, and five, while the leading pair was struggling to make an impact. With bogey number four and then hard to par five, that's just like not the start you want. After four straight pars for McElroy, an eagle putt and a chance to stretch his lead over the field awaited on five. A birdie, but progress for the 2014 winner was slow. Pressure starting to mount. Great moment for him to just put his foot on the gas here. Despite his struggles with the putter, McElroy maintained a two-shot lead. Nine holes done, just nine to go. At the turn, a spark was needed. Cameron Smith supplied it. He's a magician with that wedge, isn't he? The dream is still alive for Cameron Smith. Here we go, birdie on 10, birdie on 11. Cameron Smith is applying the pressure. Back on 10, McElroy had to find a response. What 
a great putt that is. Sensational putt from McElroy. Great answer. And Smith will hear exactly what McElroy just did on 10. That's the beauty of this loop here at the old course. If McElroy was able to answer Smith's opening salvo, his next barrage was harder to live with. Finds another one, three birdies to start the back nine for Australia's Cam Smith. As his birdie run continued, Smith devoured McElroy's advantage. By the time Smith reached the 13th, the Australian was only one shot off the lead. Fantastic shot from Smith. He's got momentum on his side right now. He's got his eye in, he's dangerous tie the lead. Four birdies in a row to start the back nine for Cameron Smith. And he climbs alongside McElroy at 18 under in a share of the lead. If 13 signalled an assault on the title for Smith, for others, it would prove the end. After a birdie at 12, Hovland's hopes of a resurgence were immediately stamped out. right into the lip of it. Yeah, as soon as I found that bunker, that was that was kind of it. Disaster for Hovland off of 13T. Just a little too much to, to fight at that point. This is not at all how he would have envisioned this day going. However, his playing partner was still well in the contest and had a chance to almost immediately re-establish his lead. Another putt agonizingly short. Wow, everyone's waiting for him to make one. That was right in the jaws. Up ahead, the penultimate pair were now making their own luck. I'll tell you what, what a shot that is. Really good speed. My goodness, what a putt. And now McElroy is chasing all of a sudden. It's been the theme today, hasn't it? He's had a lot of good parts. He really hasn't hold very much at all out there. Tables turned, but McElroy still only had one shot to make up, and Smith had the fearsome road hold to overcome. I didn't feel comfortable with that second shot all week. For some reason, I just couldn't see my ball on the green. That it was. One that I struggled to visualise the whole week. Is it long enough? It's not. It's not. Probably the worst shot of the day into that green and was left with a putt around one of the most treacherous bunkers, I think, in, in world golf. Despite seven birdies through round four so far, Smith's ascendancy was in jeopardy. Leaves himself a chance for par. And to maintain his one shot lead. Oh my goodness. What a par save that is at 17 for Smith. Just one hole left for Smith, but his nearest rival still threatened to close in. His own playing partner was about to launch a final grab for the championship. Well, he is probably thinking he's got to make eagle here. That may still not be enough. We shall see. Here it comes. How about that? Back on the road hole, a lifeline for McElroy. Shot. What a shot from McElroy, setting up a chance in 17. To 
tie Cameron Smith for the lead. Just hasn't been his day on the greens, has it? A reception worthy of a champion for Smith in 18. But there was still work to do. The atmosphere of the 18 hole at any open is, is incredible. At the home of golf, it's another step up. It was absolutely insane. over everything under this kind of pressure. Can you believe it? It is an eagle too for Cameron Young. What a way to finish. What a final day at the Open for that young man. What a week. It's not every day you shoot 65 in the final round of a major in the second to last group and lose. And uh, I did, so I, you know, I got to watch something really, really special that day. Brilliant, quite brilliant. What a back nine. Back in 30, finishing 20 under. It was definitely the best back nine closing a tournament I've, I've ever had. I felt as though everything just went my way. I had the clubhouse lead, but I knew Rory was behind me and he could make a two and we could be going to a playoff. The gauntlet had been laid down. McElroy needed nothing short of an eagle to keep his open dreams alive. Right, McElroy with the driver. He's got the firepower. Soft bounce, hit into the face of a little mound. He's going to have to hold that one over through the Valley of Sin. It's his choice. Just these two men out on the golf course now, McElroy and Hovland. But just listen to this reception. Look at those scenes coming down the 18th. Here at St Andrews, the home of golf. Has he got one touch of magic left? And here we go. And that means Cam Smith won the 150th Open. He is the champion golfer of the year. I didn't walk away from St Andrews feeling like I'd lost the tournament. Cam went out there and won the, won the golf tournament and played an incredible round of golf, once in a lifetime sort of thing. Cameron Smith's score of 20 under equaled Henrik Stenson's record lowest overall score at the Open and marked Smith's very first major win. And the champion golfer of the year is Cameron Smith. It was epic. I think that will be the biggest tournament I'll ever be a part of. You know, it's the home of golf. The stuff you feel around there is, is unlike any other place. It's just so special. It's, it's hard to put into words what it means as, as a golfer, but it's, it's the coolest place on the planet.